Could you see this coffee table in your living room? Well, it could be yours. With just a few basic tools, some easy techniques, and about $60 in off-the-shelf lumber, you could build this exact coffee table. Follow along in this video, and I will show you how. These are all the boards for the tabletop, and basically we're just gonna drill pocket holes on the underside to connect all the tabletop boards together. And then we're gonna attach the breadboard ends, and we'll have a nice, beautiful, solid wood clank tabletop. A good practice for me is just go through every board, right? And just mark out where you need a pocket hole. Boards cut, boards marked, time to start drilling those pocket holes. We have our jig set up. I've got it set up for three quarter inch stock. And we're just going to position the board in the neighborhood of those marks that you made. You don't have to be exact here. All gonna be hidden under the table. So these pocket holes are gonna be used to join two boards together edge to edge for your plank top. And now we're just gonna drill a hole on the end so that we can attach all the tabletop boards to breadboard in. And there we go, we're ready to start building this tabletop. Got all the boards down here. I'm just gonna grab two. So we'll just start with two. Um, we wanna line the pocket holes up like this. Nice and slow here. And if you, um, you wanna just go real slow, you'll feel it grab. I can't really explain that and you can't really see it. It's just something that, you know, I challenge you to do. So this, these pocket holes are really handy. Before I knew about pocket holes, um, it was pretty much impossible for me to consider building a tabletop without like a lot of wood supports underneath um, or biscuit joinery, which takes a long time. Um, and now building a tabletop is just, it's so easy. And it's, you know, it's, if you have clamps and a nice flat surface, um, just about anybody can make a table top this beautiful in solid wood in, you know, really no time at all. So let's add those breadboard ends. I'll be right back. Let me go ahead and grab them. Well, that's it. What do you think? Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that exciting? I just cannot wait to build the table base and put those farmhouse table legs under this table. It's gonna be so fun. We've got these legs. They're just farmhouse style coffee table legs and they come in standard sizes. Um, these I believe are three and a half inches by three and a half inches at the base and this plan is sized for those. But certainly if you couldn't find these particular legs, you could adjust the aprons to a different length and have a similar style coffee table with a different leg. Not a big deal. Okay. I've got the end end apron here. We'll start with the smaller apron just because it's easier to work with and a drill and some pocket hole screws, okay? So we're going to clamp the leg down. If you got everything clamped and it's not going anywhere, that just makes your job so much easier and it just makes everything come out so much more precise and even because if it's all clamped, you know that nothing's going anywhere, okay? And it's okay, see that board moved a little bit? It's fine as long as you start it in the right spot. Just keep watching and it'll just pull together really nice. And that is it. So we'll just flip it around to this side. And there we go. Let's go ahead and clamp that. What do you think? Well, we're putting this last apron on the coffee table, but what happened when I went to put this on our table behind me, the tabletop was just a little bit small and I didn't wanna risk the side apron joints cracking out on me. So I just moved the whole project to the floor. So this one, we're just gonna lay it here and I've still got my piece of half inch, right? I'm just gonna line that up with the outside of the leg. We're, we're lining this up on the and the floor and the leg and we'll just go nice and slow and keep everything in place. So we'll just do the other side. There we go. Now we just need some magazines and some chips and some dip and maybe a tabletop. 
And with these pocket hole joints, you don't need any funny business. I mean, all these joints are so strong and so square and precise that you, know, you don't even need any cross supports or anything. But of course, if you wanted to, it would be a really quick and easy job just to, to add some. So I've gone ahead and marked um, the overhang on all sides of the tabletop from the table base. And this is all in the plan. So if just you know, follow the plan and I'll tell you exactly how much overhang you need. So are you ready? What do you think of that? Well, that was easy, wasn't it? We whipped ourselves out a coffee table. Now comes the hard part, determining how you're going to paint and finish your coffee table. What I have here is a simple chocolate stain. It's just applied with a rag and we put on a clear coat. And here we have a beautiful distressed finish. The edges are slightly rubbed to expose the wood grain underneath. My personal favorite finish. If you like this coffee table, remember you can build it for yourself and bring it into your own living room by following along this simple plan. If you like this video, please share it or give it the thumbs up. But most of all, I hope you build this coffee table. Thank you so much.